Hi guys, Mike Greer here with a video tour of Udacity.com. Udacity is a new website that provides free interactive college level courses. I'm going to give you a tour of that, but let's look at the background first about them. I really like this mission statement. Their mission is to bring accessible, affordable, engaging, and highly effective higher ed to the world, believing that it is a basic human right. Now that's a very cool statement. They go on to say they believe higher education is broken with increasingly higher costs for students and society at large. And it's also no longer a one-time event, but you gotta be educated. So to, to bring higher education to the, to the world, Udacity was formed. And they give a little bit of background about their story, how they began. And let's, the leadership team, the three guys behind us so far are really impressive individuals. We have Sebastian Thrun, who is a Google fellow and working with Stanford Artificial Intelligence. And he's invented a whole bunch of stuff, uh, not, not the least of which is Google Glasses, etc. David Stebbins is a computer scientist who has degrees from Princeton and Stanford. He's worked with the Mars Rover team and uh, the self-guided car, Stanley. And finally, Mike Sikulski is a robotics engineer and he is also a researcher at Stanford University and has done lots of projects in the real world. So these guys are a pretty impressive team and scrolling down, we even see that their advisory board is made up of people as diverse as former United States Secretary of Education, Bill Bennett, people working with software organizations, startups, uh, venture capitalists, and quite a diverse group of very good people. Okay, so how does it work? Well, you sign up for your free Udacity account. As you see, I've already signed up here, and uh, you can set up a profile and get your account rolling and so forth, all for free. As you take the various courses, whatever courses you want, you can pick and choose, you track your progress and manage your courses. When you finish a course, you can get a certificate of completion if you choose. High school students, college students, and professionals are who they're looking for. Uh, professionals, that is, folks who want to enhance their existing skills or career. So you learn by doing with bite-sized videos, with really interesting, competent instructors, industry experts, and people that love what they're doing, with lots of real-world examples and some virtual field trips. There is an active uh, online community. In particular, they've got meetups here. This shows that there are currently 543 Udacity communities, and they knew where I was coming from, uh, the Southern California area, and they offered Santa Monica to be the first one. So there's nobody there at the moment, but in Los Angeles in general, we got 57 Udacians and Irvine, California, six, and so forth. So you can see in your area where some of your communities are, and then there's, of course, online communities and, and so forth. Okay, so community-based. You can engage. You don't have to be alone. College credit is also available from uh, currently a partnership with San Jose State University. And the amazing thing is it's only $150 for a, uh, an entire class, and the credit earned is transferable within the uh, Cal State system anyway and lots of other universities. So just the ones that are accredited so far, programming, psychology, statistics, algebra, entry-level courses here in mathematics. So, okay. So let's take a look a little bit closer at one of these courses. Okay, now I just pulled a course at random, the one on applied cryptography, and I sort of signed up for it, jumped in. And this is the overview page. There's a video describing the course that's presented by the instructor himself, David Evans. Brief class summary, what you need to know in terms of your background information, your entry-level skills going in, what you'll learn during the class, and a more of an overview of the seven major lessons of the class and where it's going to take you. Okay, so that's the class overview. This is the, the, the first lesson. And you notice these icons up here. You've got classroom, course wiki, and class discussion pages, as well as going back to that class overview we just looked at. So you get a lot of information just by hovering. So you hover over some of these. Do not implement your own crypto, symmetric crypto systems, and these are topics. So as you go across here, you get, you can see it's easy for you to go back and review. That's a great thing about taking a class independently all by yourself. Nobody's going to complain when you have to take the same lesson over and over again, and you can do it as many times as you want. So looking down through here, we see that uh, uh, you can skip ahead to the quiz and that it's a YouTube hosted video thing. Let's take a look at these other areas up here. 
course wiki which what I just want to show you here is a wiki uh, the course notes video subtitles and all that kind of stuff general background information and so forth we go over here to class discussion and we go to a class discussion board the various topics that students have posted questions and you can ask and interact with your fellow students there so actually quite a robust set of tools available to you as a student. Okay, that's our tour of the Udacity.com website. I recommend that you visit the site frequently as they continue to add courses. Uh, you're going to find more and more courses that might meet your needs. But if particular right now, remember, if you're interested in the computer science area, statistics, math, those things, some website development, software debugging, etc. Check it out and see what they've got for you because I believe these guys are going somewhere. They've got a mission and the great thing, this is the first time I've seen $150 for a college credited course, which is very affordable and pretty amazing. So uh, check it out. That's udacity.com, a great place for some of the best free training.